Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today is a pretty exciting day because I'm going to be sprucing up our living room area. I have ordered some gorgeous new home decor bits from Etsy and a beautiful piece of furniture that I am just in love with. Um, just to mention I am working with Etsy on part of this video so it does include a paid partnership and I think that you're going to love the bits that I've ordered. So as you can see I have got lots of boxes here in my office that I am very excited to get into. They've been arriving over the past few days and I've just been bringing them in here and waiting patiently to unbox them all at the same time. So I'm gonna take them through into the living area and unbox them with you now and show you what I ordered. So I brought all of the boxes in and just arranged them around me so I could take a quick thumbnail. Um, I have actually forgotten what is in some of these as well so I'm really excited to get into them. And like I mentioned, I did order a piece of furniture. It is a new console table to go underneath the television. And when I say it is everything I wished for and more, honestly, it is just beautiful. I'm going to show you in a bit. Uh, but basically quite a few of these pieces I ordered to put and to style on the console table because it is quite big. Um, before I had the piddliest little console table under the TV. I didn't realise it was going to look so small. I think I underestimated quite how big this wall is. Um, but the like the dimensions were just off and this one looks so much better and I'm just so pleased with it. So I can't wait to style it up. Um, so I'm gonna get into these boxes and then style up the console table. I'm gonna start off with this one here. So this one is from a shop on Etsy called Simply Vases. Obviously everything featured will be linked below in the description box. Um, but I wonder if you can guess what this one is from Simply Vases. <laughs> oh that is gorgeous isn't it? That is absolutely perfect especially when it's got a little bit of grass, like panthers grass in it, or maybe a little bit of green in there, or even some flowers, like fresh flowers from the garden would look beautiful in that. Um, so that is absolutely perfect. I am very pleased with that indeed. Am I a little bit far away back there? Come a little bit closer. Um, next up, oh, next up is from a shop called Dalla, Dalla Mano Design. Thank you for supporting our small business. We appreciate every order, which is something that's so wonderful about Etsy. There's so many small independent businesses on there from all over the world. So you're really supporting small businesses when you order from Etsy. Oh, okay. The next piece that I ordered, and this isn't actually to go on the console table. This is for um, hand soap, well, for my hand soap and hand lotion to sit on either in the kitchen or in our bathroom and again this feels so heavy really lovely quality i think it might be made from concrete i'm just going to open a couple more of the small boxes and then i'm going to get onto some of these big boxes this one is from a shop called elemental design and this is this gorgeous little bowl which i thought again would look really lovely styled on the console table. I may even put something inside it. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love the frayed edge as well. It's from a brand called Ellie Home and it's this gorgeous blanket or throw and I just thought this would be lovely draped over the back of the sofa but you can never have too many throws or blankets and I just love the style like the texture of the fabric is gorgeous I think I know what this one is yes oh I really hope that this works where I want it to work I'm trying to work out which way up it goes <laughs> Um, yeah, like that. Um, so the next piece that I ordered is this gorgeous wooden shelf and I thought that this would work perfectly. In the kitchen where I've got the kettle, up on the wall there's kind of like a bit that comes out. I will show you in a second. And I thought this would be perfect there with some mugs hanging on it and then my tea, coffee and sugar on top. I'm pretty sure they do these in different lengths as well so you can have more hooks if you want to hang more mugs on, if you want it a bit more, a bit longer or shorter you can do, um, but I thought that this would work perfectly. So I'll show you in a second where I'm planning on putting this. Okay, so next up, I just thought this was 
so pretty and something really different as well something that i've not seen before oh that is so pretty okay i'm just going to cover the mirror with some bubble wrap so you can actually see it properly without seeing the tripod like bobbing around but how pretty is this i'm either going to pop it on the wall here or in the hallway so i will show you how it looks once it's up oh that's gorgeous look at that mum oh so pretty next up is this beautiful little it's like a, is it like a shell would you say like an open shell kind of style yes. i mean you could keep your jewelry in there yeah i could even put jewelry in there and have it on my bedside table or just again another piece to style up on the console table just to add a different dimension to different kind of pieces on there um but i just thought it was so gorgeous another beautiful vase this is just gorgeous like the texture on this is stunning and again just flowers or pampas grass or like some um little kind of eucalyptus leaves in it i thought that this would be perfect oh that is so beautiful again it just looks really like beautifully handmade and i thought that this would be perfect i could either pop a diffuser on it or even have it on our console table in the hallway just to put keys on as we come in and out the house and just to mention those last three pieces were from an etsy shop called every story <laughs> this is heavy oh that is perfect Okay, we've got another mirror, so it's going to be a bit tricky to show you. I'm just going to hold it at a little bit of an angle. Um, but obviously, I will show it to you properly in situ. But I just thought that this was gorgeous. I love the wooden frame, and I love the kind of irregular shape of it as well. It is so heavy. Next up, I've got another lucky dip one of all of these little foam things in. And just so you know, by the way, these are dissolvable as well. So if you just put them in the sink and pour water on them, they just melt away into nothing. So it's a... Good little tip to get rid of them. And these are some beautiful, oh wow. How stunning are these? I thought for special occasions, it was really nice to have a super special set. And I just thought these were gorgeous. They're just really simple with kind of like a crinkled edge to them. This is obviously a small plate. And then these are the medium plates. Again, just gorgeous. Let me hold the other one next, which you can see the size difference. And they look so lovely stacked on top of each other as well. So gorgeous. Oh. Okay, these are the small ones. And then the other ones are the medium and the other ones are the large. How cute is that? It's tiny. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it's really diddy. But they're so cute. I don't know what I'll use them for, but they are so pretty. So pretty. This one says, Charlotte, we hope you love this very special piece. Best wishes, Abby and Hannah. Sorry, I was just getting rid of some more of the packaging. But next up is a very heavy vase. I don't really know where to balance it as I unbox it. I might just pop it here. Holding on to it for dear life so I don't drop it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Wow, wow, wow. Look at that. <laughs> you can see how heavy it is by the way I'm leaning back. That is just stunning. Oh my gosh, I love it. <laughs> my mum's just walked past and she's like, oh, wow. <laughs> she is here today. She's gonna help me style up the console table in a bit. Um, but this is so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love it. You can tell like how different and unique it is as well, like with all the detail. It's obviously one of a kind where it's handmade and it's just so special. So I'm very excited to put that somewhere and see how it looks. Okay, next up, I ordered two of these lanterns and I thought that these would be gorgeous. For summer evenings in the garden, sorry I'm out of breath where I've been unpacking everything. Um, I thought these would be gorgeous for summer evenings in the garden. I've put two, I've got a, this one's a smaller one. And then I also ordered a bigger one as well. And I just thought both of those would like 
big pillar candles in them. Obviously I wouldn't leave them outside all the time because I'm not sure how well they would be kind of left outside all the time. And then the final piece I ordered and one of my favourite pieces, I'm really excited about it. Oh wow, that is gorgeous, it's not showing up as well on camera because it's got the plastic over the top of it so it's just reflecting the light a little bit, but it's this beautiful big canvas and I just thought this was so dreamy. I know some of you will prefer like more kind of bold colours. I just thought this was gorgeous, it's so simple, it's so peaceful as well, I like the fact that it's not got too much going on, it's got this gorgeous white wooden frame on it, and I'm thinking of putting it up on the back wall over there, so I will see how it looks up there, but I'm so pleased with that, and this does come in lots of different sizes as well, so if you're looking at this and thinking, whoa, that's way too big for what I'm looking for, then you can get it in loads of different sizes, you can get it with or without the frame, and I just think it's gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna clear up the rest of this packaging and then I will show you the console table. So this is the beautiful console table and honestly, this is just stunning. The quality of this and the craftsmanship is just second to none. It just feels such great quality. It's made from like solid, thick, rustic wood. It does come in three different colours. This is the mink and I think it comes in, I'm pretty sure it's sand and light oak as well, but I just thought the tone of this lacquer on the wood was just perfect for this area and it just looks gorgeous. So obviously it's got nothing on it at the moment and I am going to style it up and I think it's going to look even better once it's styled up. Oh, and this is the largest size available. I think it's two meters long, but they do do lots of different sizes. You can get them smaller. You can also get this bit narrower as well. This is the widest option they had, but you can get like a narrower version as well. Um, but I think that this size fits into this space perfectly. Okay, so I've just finished faffing around with styling and this is the finished look. Well, it's the, it's the finished look for now anyway. I think I will kind of play around a little bit more and add a few other bits, um, but I think it looks gorgeous. I'm so, so happy with how it looks styled up. Um, so first of all, in this little corner here, I've put up the, I've put the little jug vase, this little bowl and the tall textured vase as well. And I've just put some um, little kind of dried, flowers in there and some dried flowers in this one as well. In the middle I have got a candle on this little tray and then I've popped these bits together as well. This beautiful vase that I feel like steals the show. I mean it's just incredible. And then this gorgeous little dish as well. I did debate putting some um, eucalyptus in there which I will insert a cutaway so you can see it in and let me know if you think it looks better with or without. I do quite like how it looks just very plain and simple and neutral, but let me know if you think it looks better like this, or I'm gonna insert a cutaway and let me know if you think it looks better with the eucalyptus in there. And then on the bottom, I have put this little basket with the gorgeous new throw from Etsy. I've put another basket there with a coffee table book on top. And then over here, I was looking for something to fill this little space here. I do think I might get another basket, but my mum suggested, she was like, why don't you put the little plates stacked there? And I was like, oh no, don't be silly, that won't work. But actually, I popped them down there and I do think they look really lovely down there. I think because they're so different, it almost doesn't look like there's plates stacked together. It just looks really interesting and it kind of balances out the, the bottom shelf. Um, and I quite like the fact that it's not symmetrical as well. Obviously, there's different sort of size pieces dotted around. And then I've just put another um, little blanket rolled up at the end as well. And I think it looks gorgeous. But let me know what you think. If there's anything you think looks out of place, um, do leave a comment and let me know. But I'm so pleased with all of these bits from Etsy. I just think they are gorgeous. 
And obviously all of the neutral tones suit my style perfectly, but Etsy have so many home decor items to suit so many different styles. So if you're not a fan of neutrals or you prefer a little bit more bright color, then there are so many different pieces to choose from on Etsy. As pretty as that looks poking out, I'm just going to move these to one side because they are a little bit in the way. Um, good morning, it is the following day now. I stopped vlogging yesterday after I showed you the console table. I did want to show you the other bits in situ as well, but I had to wait for Lou to get back so he could put them up on the wall, which he did as soon as he got in. Bless him, he has put them all up and mirrors up, the little shelf is up with the tea, coffee and sugar on, and I'm just so pleased. So I will show you those in a bit. Um, I have spent the morning just doing emails, a little bit of editing, just bits and bobs, and I am about to make a healthy oatmeal, like a baked oatmeal. I used to make it all the time. I feel like if you've followed me for a while, you've probably seen me make it before. I don't know if whether it's on my YouTube or Instagram. Um, but anyway, I used to make it all the time and then I haven't done it in ages. And the other day I was wanting like healthy snacks and I thought, oh, I must make that again. So I have got all of my ingredients laid out here. In fact, let me quickly show you what goes in. So this is the ingredients for the baked oatmeal. So I've got porridge oats bananas and also two very very ripe bananas i thought that i would open them and see how they look inside i think the reason they are so black is because i put, put them in the fridge and i always find that bananas go black really quickly when you put them in the fridge um but i thought i mean they might either be great because they're super ripe or they might have gone too far so we'll try those if not i'll use these two i'm only going to use two bananas um, peanut butter, honey, nuts, I've got cashews, almonds and walnuts, so I'm going to put a few of these in, some cacao nibs, is it cacao, is that how you pronounce it, C cacao nibs, oh, I don't actually really like these that much actually, so I might just put dark chocolate into them and not actually use those, because they can be a bit bitter, um, but I've also got baking powder, cinnamon and vanilla essence, and you're supposed to put an egg in, but I've just realized I haven't got any eggs, so I googled like an alternative for eggs, and apparently if you mix flaxseed with water, I think it's a tablespoon of flaxseed and then two and a half tablespoons of room temperature water, it kind of thickens up and imitates an egg, so you can use it as an alternative. I'm not sure if it will be as good, but I'm going to give it a go. So I decided not to go with the black bananas because they looked a little bit too ripe. But let me know if that is, like, if I could have used that or if it is too far gone. I didn't want to risk it. Um, so I've mashed two bananas. I'm going to add the peanut butter. I put my feet up and we just sing along and I can't help but feeling just loving this moment. Can By the way, this is how the flaxseed looks. I don't know if it's supposed to be like this or not, but I'm gonna add it and see. <laughs> I've also added three quarters of a cup of milk. I used to use almond milk when I did it before, but I don't have any almond milk. So I just use regular semi-skimmed milk. And then I've also added a bit of chopped up dark chocolate as well. I've just lined this dish with some crease proof paper and coconut oil just to make sure that it doesn't stick. And I'm gonna pop the mixture in and put it in the oven. Forever, forever, forever. Oven. 
oven, I will show you the rest of the bits from Etsy in situ. So first of all, this is how the shelf looks up and it could not be more suited to this area. I just think it looks perfect. I've just got it sitting above my kettle and my velvetizer, tea, coffee and sugar on the top and then four mugs hanging up and it just looks gorgeous in this area. I'm so pleased with it. And it means the surface is more clean as well. Before I had these on the side, so it just keeps that a little bit more clean. Um, and also I'm thinking of getting a coffee machine that I want to put here as well. So if you've got any good recommendations for good coffee machines, leave a comment below and let me know which one you recommend. Just like a nice, easy to use one. Um, but yeah, really pleased with how the shelf looks. Next up is this gorgeous mirror. And I was debating whether to put this one here or the kind of textured, I think it's called macrame. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, but I was debating whether to put this one or that one and Lou held this one up against the wall and as soon as he held it up, in that position it just works perfectly. And I just love it. I just think it's such a beautiful style. I think the wood works really well with all the neutral tones and I'm so happy with it. Also, I've just noticed that you can get a sneak peek of this picture behind me. How stunning does this canvas look? Obviously, ignore the little screws either side. That's where I had the three prints up before, but I will get them out and fill them in. But the canvas just looks beautiful above the sofa. And I feel like you can see the kind of tones of it a little bit better now it's up on the wall. It doesn't look so bleached out as it did when I was holding it up before. It just is so interesting. I just think it looks so classy and it just works really well above the sofa with all like the cream and white tones. I am so pleased with that. Honestly, it's just beautiful. And then I've just rested this mirror on top of the headboard just to see how it looks. Obviously, I'd put it a little bit higher up, like around there. But what do you think? Do you think that could work in the middle or do you think it looks better without it? I'll, I'll move it and show you it without. Actually, no, I think now I've taken it down and seeing it without, I think it does work better not being there. Um, what about, I might try it here where this is actually and just see how it looks. Okay, so I've just popped this mirror up on the wall where I had the long black and white picture frame before. Just to see, I wasn't actually planning on putting it here, but I thought I'd just, as there was a hook here already, I thought I'd just try it. And I think it looks gorgeous. Obviously, as you walk in the door, this is our bedroom door, you walk in, it's the first thing you see, and then it works really well with like the style of the bedroom. So I think I might actually leave it here and then find another place for that picture frame to go. Um, because I just think it looks so pretty. But let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. So it's been in the oven at 200 degrees for 25 minutes and it smells delicious. I am going to wait for it to cool down just a little bit and then have a nice warm slice. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment. It's good. It's not, I think it is cooled down a little bit because it does taste a little bit sticky. It does taste a little bit like porridge. <laughs> but I think it just needs to cool down a little bit so it just kind of holds its form a little bit better. Um, but it does taste good. I'm just currently replying to some emails and I've just made some selections for an upcoming collaboration that I've got next week. And I've also just been ordering some bits for the flat as well, for the flat renovation. If you're new here, then Lou and I are currently renovating, well, I say Lou and I, Lou, <laughs> is currently renovating a flat that we purchased recently. And it's just getting to the stage where everything's starting to make a difference. So it's been painted now. I, I nipped in there the other day, but I didn't have my camera with me, so I couldn't vlog. But um, like all the ceilings and the bedrooms are painted white. I think I'm probably going to just leave the bedrooms white um, and then maybe put like a neutral color in the living room. But everything's been painted, well not, most most walls have been painted, all the ceilings have, they're skirting on, so it just looks so much brighter and cleaner and white and just fresh in there, it looks so much better now. Um, and we are definitely going to be, the next step is ordering, I need to go kitchen shopping with Lou very soon and find a kitchen. Um, so I will definitely vlog that when we go kitchen shopping and bathroom shopping and things like that. I will definitely make sure I vlog that. Um, but I'm going to catch up with a few more emails and then I'm going to make myself some lunch. 
Lou just texted me to let me know that he's on his way home. So I have changed into some comfortable clothes because we're going to go out for a walk. It was really warm and sunny earlier, but it's gone a little bit cloudy now, so hence why I've popped a jumper and some leggings on. And I've got a little bit of a headache as well. I've got like, I don't know if anyone else gets it, where you get like really sore skin on the side of your face and around your scalp. I don't know if it's because I'm run down. I don't know what it means. I'm just, I get it like about once every few months or so. Um, and I've got that, so I feel like really sensitive and a bit sore. So hopefully a nice walk will clear my head. And yeah, a bit of fresh air. Thank you for watching. Just a reminder, this video included a paid promotion from Etsy.